everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I was watching, oh, yes, did I say, I said everything, yes. Today, I was, <laughs> it's because I got something on my mind, and I don't want to forget. Um, today, I was watching Bob from Mountain Crest Farms, and he was talking about who is laughing now concerning people that are um, the preppers and the um, homesteaders. He was talking about no camouflage in my house. Well, I don't have any camouflage, but I think somebody else does. Oh, I'm going to do this. He has this. It's not mine. He wears it when he goes on the motorcycle. Some camouflage. And he wears this stuff. <laughs> this is his cameo. Hi, appearance. Bob. <laughs> yes, we do have some camo, but uh, it's more for motorcycles and not for for, you know, for hiding, but hey, <laughs> whatever works, right? To keep them warm, yeah. We do have a BB gun and a pellet gun. I do have that. One, and one lady, I have to tell you, here you can have your stuff. <laughs> one lady was, lady is a dog that we had. She was a pretty golden retriever, Irish setter. And she was one of these dogs that used to like to run away. She was always on the run. So I had, when, when I was, when she wanted to be outside and we weren't outside, I used to tie her up. But then there was a neighbor dog that would come and bother her. It was a terrible neighbor dog, always bothering my dog. Well, But I, he was a nice dog. Yeah, but this is a different one, I think. I don't remember which one it was. I sh the boxer was a good dog, but um, this dog, so what I did is I got the BB gun out and I, we used to have a telephone pole in the middle of the lawn and I thought, I wonder if I can hit that pole because if I can hit the pole, I'll hit the dog in the back end. It was just a BB gun. And so I shot it and I hit the telephone pole and I go, whoo, I'm pretty good at this. So when the dog would come around, I never did get to shoot the dog actually. Every time he saw me with the gun, he'd run. So maybe somebody else has... Um, nicked him or something I don't know but I never got to shoot him but I did hit the telephone pole and he stayed away from our house away from my dog so that when my dog was tied um, it would stay away and we when we were outside we used to let the dog just be with us because if it was people were around it used to stick around but if it couldn't find anybody it used to run away I used to go up to the school to pick this dog up all the time because it used to disappear on us and then one time it disappeared for a very long time and I didn't know where it was and Jim came home from work and here's the dog skin and bones with its leg drawn up somebody had shot it with a gun gun and so we took the dog to the vet and had the dog leg re-broke because it had healed enough to where she could come home and it um, got fixed and we put the little kid rubber boot on because she had to have a cast on her leg or a framing it was a cast it was a cast yeah. frame cast and the vet wanted to know how we kept it so clean well I used to put a bread bag over the foot and then slide the foot in a boot and put the boot on backwards and she used to drag it in the snow it was really she did very well and she got real healthy real nice and fat and she ran away again we never did find her and she'd be in her 30s now if she was alive so this was a long 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 time ago um, I do have my coffee cup. I got my coffee cup back too. Bob came all the way to New York, took my coffee cup, and I had to go all the way to Georgia to get it back. And so I'll show you. See, I've got my cup back. I think, I think it changed color when it was at his house because this side was a lot lighter. I've got coffee in it. And see, that's how you drink. You don't... <laughs> however you do it I don't do it no slurping no slurping is right it's in you're only allowed two slurps if in in, in the book of um, etiquette this is what they say only two slurps are allowed I tried to find that book because you know when I had the foster kids I used to tell them about the the um, manners things that were and they would say Nobody told me that. And I said, well, it's written in a book. And so I did have a book. I don't know where that book went. I tried finding it one day. But you know, when you have a lot of stuff in your house, 
and a lot of books and a lot of everything everywhere and anywhere and you hide things or you put things so that you'll remember where they're going to be because when I had the foster kids I used to have a lot of things stolen and they would steal anything they stole the book that was in the bathroom we used to have a book in the bathroom so that if you were in there for a while you at least had something to look at <laughs> they even stole that it's gone and so I don't have that book but um, I'm going to show you the baby chicks again so that you can see the mama she was um, she's very protective of those babies but she did let me see them a little bit I still I, I reached in to give her some chicken scratch and until she realized what I was giving her she was ready to attack me but she did like the chicken scratch because I give it to the other hens I want her to have some too because she doesn't come out I just want to see. You are so pretty. I wonder what kind of little chicky you are. Whoops, I do you went. Well, I think that's it. Is that it? Mr. Yeah. Camouflage Man? As far as I know, that's okay. it. Alrighty. Well, we'll talk to you all. At, how do you like that? He stuck around. <laughs> <laughs> what a difference. I see you in there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for now. Do you, do you remember the show Tool Time? Tool Time. He's, he's well, like I'm Wilson. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Hi there. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. It wasn't, that's Mr. Wilson. Also is on Dennis the Menace. Yeah. Different Mr. Wilson. Different one. Yeah. Well, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.